are bringing outer space closer to your world. NASA just released a picture of a black hole at the center of the Milky Way, and it's taken over the Internet. NASA scientist Michelle Thaler joining us to talk about this amazing photo and the size of this black hole is just incredible. Good morning, Michelle. Hey, good morning. It's great to be here. Yes, uh, there, there was a wonderful announcement that came out yesterday. The, uh, the big black hole in the middle of our galaxy. It's about as massive as four million suns. And it's, a, it's amazing to think that all of these observatories around the world observed it at the same time, creating a telescope pretty much as large as the Earth. And we were actually able to see the dark area where effectively light is getting sucked back into the black hole. Now, Michelle, uh, you've heard the commentators say it kind of looks like a lumpy orange donut <laughs> in a way and a little fuzzy as well. That's right. There yeah. was a time when Einstein himself didn't believe his equations predicting black holes, and then we started to observe them. Uh, tell us why it's okay that our galaxy is rotating around a black hole and we're not going to all get sucked in. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I mean, Einstein's equations predicted that if gravity got intense enough, it could actually suck in light and space and time itself in some ways. But he didn't think anything in nature would actually be extreme enough to do that. We now know that black holes are produced by dying, exploding stars. Um, we are orbiting this black hole right now at half a million miles an hour. The sun, the solar system, everything is going around that black hole in the middle of the galaxy. The thing is, we are 27,000 light years away from it. That's it's very far away and our orbit is very stable. So it's not a risk to us, but it's an incredible view into this mysterious heart of our galaxy. And Michelle, uh, we know that the lunar eclipse is happening. What makes Sunday night's moon so special? Well, you know, I mean, we were talking about things that are far away, like in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy, 27,000 light years away. A lunar eclipse gives you a chance, I think, to feel really intimately connected with all these motions in the heavens that are going on around us. And so Sunday evening, what's going to happen is that the sun, the earth, and the moon are going to line up perfectly so that the moon is going to go into the earth's shadow. The earth will block out sunlight from the moon, and the moon will go dark slowly over a couple of hours. And then at the very height of the eclipse, you see here a graphic of us moving into the shadow. At the height of the eclipse, the moon seems to turn kind of reddish colored. And that's because the only light getting up to the moon is actually bending through the atmosphere of the Earth. And just like what happens during a sunset or a sunrise, what happens is blue light scatters away much more easily than red light and orange light. So the only light getting up to the moon is going through our atmosphere, and it's almost like all of the sunrises and sunsets all along the edge of the Earth. They're projecting their light, that orange light, up to the moon. Yeah, Michelle, uh, like 20 seconds we have left. Uh, Artemis is the mission to the moon, the return humans to the moon. You think it's going to happen? Oh, I absolutely think it's going to happen. You're going to see a huge change coming in the next couple of years. So the first thing that we're doing now is sending robotic spacecraft. There will be a rover going up at the end of next year, and then several commercial payloads as well that will be delivering scientific instruments to the moon. And all of that is happening in preparation to finally get people's boots back on the moon, as we say at NASA. And uh, that crew is going to include the, the first woman and the first person of color to walk on the moon. And uh, I actually personally have some friends that are, that are on the, uh, the Artemis crew list. So, yes, right. I, I'm looking forward to you know, actually waving at them up on the moon someday. Michelle Thaler, we love talking to you. You've been on uh, a couple of times now. Thanks for your time and good luck. And thank you for watching Brighter News with Peggy Kent.